Hello everyone, welcome to bimodeler.com. So in this video tutorial, we will be discussing how to use the 3D lock and how what is the purpose of that same. So which can be used in the Revit project and also which is available in the Revit family. The symbol will be shown as a home with the lock symbol like this. So what is the use in the 3D in the Revit family? So it is very simple. When you are saving the family, it will show the preview as whatever the views that you saved in the last. So it is very easy that you will be able to lock it so that nobody changes it, the appearance of it or any, anything else related to that rotation of this, anything, they cannot change it. So keep it still and as a standard, we can keep it for all the families. So when I say it, I can, I don't want to crop this and I will keep it like this. I'm going to save this orientation always like this one and I'm going to name this as 3D view. When I change that, so you can see that 3D view name got changed and automatically the lock symbol will be locked in this place if you can see in your systems. And if I try to zoom in, zoom out, yes, it's possible. If I do pan, it's possible. If I try to rotate by holding shift and it's not possible. If I click anywhere, it's not possible. So it will work only like this. So it will be like this. We cannot rotate it. So when I uh, change it, this, these things will be changed. Shaded and realistic can be changed. Only the orientation of the model cannot be changed. As similar to that, in project also we have that lock symbol. And what is the use of it? The main use that when I try to uh, annotate in 3D, we cannot do it. When you do a lock, you will be able to do annotation in 3D view also. For example, tagging, I can go to the annotate and I'll be able to use tag by category or tag all. And suddenly it says that log 3D view for tagging. You have to lock it before doing it. Go back here and say this 3D view exterior. I can create it. So new view will be created based on this. So the existing view will be renamed. You can say like that. And now if you are trying to do a tagging, tag by category, you can select any elements that you needed. You see tags will be appearing like this and you'll be able to place them wherever you need. I can pan it and tag once again. I will try to tag any elements that you need, we needed. Since it's not available, we cannot do it. And like this. The other one is we can do a dimension also. You can do dimension like this, but the thing is that the work plane set to a different direction. So we have to go to uh, option set work plane, which is an architectural term set option, set a pickup plane, and you will be able to pick a plane like this. Then we will be able to take a dimension from the modify tab or annotation tab. And from top to bottom, and we can place the dimension wherever we need it. Again, change the uh, work plane from the architectural tab set work plane and pick a plane, this plane, and make a dimension for this direction. In this way, you'll be able to annotate whatever the elements that you want to do it and you'll be able to make this appear in the sheet and you can print it. Do remember, we will be able to unlock this view and once you do that, your annotation element text 2D elements will be gone, only dimension remains in the same place and what you can do is you can go back and you can restore the orientation and you will get the elements back the same place. So this is how you'll be able to use your 3D log option which is available in that place. Thank you so much. If you have any other doubts related to this rivet, 
you do command it below and do visit bmodeler.com for downloading Revit families for your users. We are planning to upload Dynamo scripts also. So do let us know if you need anything. We can able to do it for you. Thank you so much. Do support us.